Hello everybody, it's our Tion like strains. I'm Yaz. And I'm Tom. Today we're playing Flash vs. Zombies Co-op Walnut Bowling. And eating popcorn. We haven't done a video in a really, really long time. That's because we weren't here over President's Day weekend. Yeah, we were adventuring. I went paintballing. There's going to be footage of that later. And I was in San Diego. There's not going to be any footage of that. Alright, here we go. Um, it's muted right now. There but, we go. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Ah. There's Yada. You can probably hear it fine. We can't. Oh, there it goes. Alright, I'm player two, I think. I'm gonna be the Zom Zoms. No. Oh, no, no, we're doing bowling. I said that earlier. So I knew that. I'm player one, and yes, player two. Let's go pop room. Yeah. 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 I pity the fool with no popcorn. That zombie's dead. Yeah. Wait. Huh. Uh, he was dead already. They're all dead. I found a We got a plant for our Zen Garden. Yay! Oh my gosh. Alright. Jimmy's drop. Yeah, it's dropping popcorn everywhere. I love popcorn. So, yeah. How was your weekend, Tom? I was good, yeah. I found yours. Nice. Uh, I had fun playing paintball. It was good times. The uh, first time I ever played paintball, um, I didn't get shot. I was adrenaline rushing the whole time. You were rushing? No, but I didn't, like, I was super. Like, scared. I, oh, me too. I hit for a long time, and then the second one I got over it, and I got shot three times in the arm. Ow. Well, it was like twice on the right forearm, and then one time on the left forearm, and then once in the gun. Doesn't it hurt to get shot? Not really. It's supposed to hurt more in the winter time, and it didn't hurt all that much. Why? Well, it's because the balls compact. Or, they don't compact. They, they don't freeze. They, like, because... Stuff that gets cold compresses. Uh huh. That's science. Anyway, it's balanced out by the fact that you're kind of numb from running around in the snow, so. Maybe. I don't know. It's totally fine. It was mercy, so I didn't give up. So. I didn't give up until I had been shot the fourth time and I said some pretty colorful words. Ah. Uh, but yeah. I'm actually going to wear camp. Um. This weekend, but I have a really awesome snow hat, but I don't want to bring it because there's this kid named um, Larry who always steals everybody's hat. Can I, can I bring my pet the hat to my camp, Tommy? If you're not gonna bring it. Well, no. I wanted to bring it because it's a very practical, warm, cold weather hat, and well, I wore it everywhere is, because it was just really good. It's one of those like fluffy ear hats. And the thing is, I want to bring it. It's just I don't want that Larry kid stealing it and ruining it. I once bought a raccoon cat at that same uh, camp. He almost he ripped the tail off while I was still wearing it. Then you should keep it and let me borrow it because I want to wear it. But I want to I want to take it though. It's so practical up in the mountains. What point does it serve if you're not going to anyway? Wait, what? You said you weren't gonna bring it. No, I want to, but I'm not sure if I should. Well, if the decision decides to be no, I will because I really like wearing it. Yeah. It's got a cool little Soviet star on it. We'll show you it later. It's, oh. Yeah. It's kind of like Tom's signature hat. Uh-huh. I have a pit helmet. It's pretty cool. We're getting a lot of money. But yeah. yeah. Did you also hear about in the news the Pope resigned? Yeah. Pretty crazy. Two things. One, this is for one of the episodes where we don't talk about the game at all. And two, why did the Pope resign? The Pope was getting old and stuff. Also, can the Pope resign? I'm not sure if he can. I suppose he can if he wants to. Some people don't think he should or he shouldn't be able to. Also, what about that meteor in Russia? Oh yeah, the meteor. A meteor like exploded in Russia and it like killed like it, didn't, it hurt a bunch of people and killed a couple more, which is really sad. You know, moment of silence. But wait, but then. If it was big enough to breach the atmosphere and crash land on Earth, then it would have to be pretty big before it got here. Mm -hmm. That's why it hurt so many people. It's like it's just a bomb went off in the middle of town. But, the stuff is, is that the meteorite stuff is like worth 40 times more than gold is. It's like 20,000 rubles for a gram. Which is a lot of money. It's like What's a thousand. Ruble? A ruble is like a Russian dollar. A ruble's like... Like 20,000 rubles is like the equivalent. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the equivalent to like... Twelve thousand do American dollars. So it's not as hard, but in currency, 
But yeah, speaking of currency, look at all those dollars we're racking up, all those coins. I bet Meteorite Rocks would, would make some very, very weird astronomical people very happy. Well, that's who's paying for it as a scientist. I looked at a map of asteroids. America got a lot of tiny asteroids, but Russia has gotten all the big ones. Like, everyone can remember the, um... See, I said everyone can remember it, then I forgot the name of it. There's There was the, um, a meteorite a long time ago that touched down in Russia. I forgot the name of it. It was like sometime during the 20s. There's also one time where a very tiny asteroid was enough, had enough mass to get spray through the atmosphere, and it crash landed on like a German 12 year old with head outside. And it just had pierced through his front porch, and he was like right in front of his butt. I heard another woman who got hit by a meteorite and she lived, but it knocked her out. Yeah. Ranger not boss. every day, not every day when you can tell your friends, hey, I got hit by a meteorite and lived. I want to get hit by a meteorite. No, I don't actually. Who am I kidding? Come on. Wish you guys could taste this popcorn. It's pretty great. Yeah. It's so on... twice, you're twice as likely to get struck by lightning when you won the lottery. No. That's a myth. It's jolly time healthy pop. It's 94% fat free. Mm. Go and buy some for your health conscious friends. Yep. Um. Oh, by the way. Jolly Time Healthy Pop is not being directly endorsed. Yes, it, it is. Well, well, we can endorse what we, we can endorse what we want. We can, but they're like not giving us money for it. But if we say it long enough, they'll start giving us money. Oh, Mike, yeah. look at all this money. Oh my yeah. I went to sell all the money we'll get. Yeah, all the butter. For advertising popcorn. All the butter we have left over from making the popcorn goes on the heads of the zombies. Huh. It's gonna come towards a head. We're running out of like walnuts here, and it's either, it's getting down to the wire. I look at little bops like this. Brains are bust. Brains are bust. Brains make you fat. They have like a lot of like fat in them. That one? No, it's just like protein or something. No, it's fat. See, the zombies should be eating Jolly Time Healthy Pop Popcorn, but only that's 94% fat free. Yeah, a happy zombie is a healthy zombie. No, it's not. A happy zombie is a zombie that's eating brains. Or, jo or Jolly Time Healthy pop Popcorn. Stupid zombies. Um, oh. Covering my lawn with ice and stuff. <laughs> they all exploded. How do we turn this video into a popcorn commercial? By eating it. By eating popcorn. Alright, I have got time for the pop popcorn. Um, I'm Mad Miller, um, Metro 2033. I'll make it, and we have another episode for that in the works, but it's unlikely we're gonna do another one. Um, excuse me, in regards to our big game hunt, we'll do more, but not anytime soon. Um, uh, I'm, I'm thinking that once I get far enough into the... Uh, Dragonborn DLC? I'm gonna fight the, the super giant. You know, what's his, I can't remember his name, but he's really, it's a ghost, a ghost giant. He's really, really tough. Something. A ghost what? A ghost giant. If you kill him, you get the spell where you can summon him, but you can only use it three times. Period. After you use it three times, you can no longer use the spell. But if you kill him again? He doesn't respawn. That's true, though. But. And also, I'll be doing a, a um, dungeon dive of four holes. That's going to be a new series for Skyrim, dungeon dive. Uh, we I have it done, it's just we need to finish the editing. No, that's Tolval's maze. Oh. The, have you done Tolval's maze yet? Yes, I have the, um, you, I have the, the, I have the audio files and the video files. We just need to combine them. I did the first one, we just haven't posted it yet. We should do that. I'll do that after this. Oh, the video's lagging. Oh, the no. audio's probably gonna mess up here. Oh, yeah. Excuse us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Going back? Oh, no, because then what? it messes it up later. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, for my four holes dive, I'm gonna bring myself, Argus, the Argus the Bulwark, the, the Spectral Assassin, and the Steadfast Dwarven Spear. Yeah. I want I want a pet dwarven spear so badly. Yes. 
I, I, I'm so happy you can like find one in, in Dragonborn and one of the dwarven places. You can get after the second trial, trial he's in chamber. And oh, I think they're done. All right, see you later, everybody. Bye. It's turn off. Well, that's our show, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked this episode, comment, like, subscribe. This is the end screen.